What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kobe. It's been a while. I'm back with a little tutorial. I know I've been gone, like, you know, for a minute, for about a couple months. You know, this YouTube shit and uh, this other shit has been bored to me. I just had to get back to my normal life and all that shit. Uh, I, that, that's why I haven't been on the active, playing Xbox, doing anything, editing. I had a couple projects, and I said, fuck those projects. And, yeah, but um, yeah, this tutorial is gonna be about like how to animate 3D characters. Like I show you a couple of examples or some shit. Like animations like this, 3D characters. It's not what yeah, like this shit, like this. Yeah. So I'm not gonna be showing you nothing of that, but I'm gonna show you how to, you know, animate a character, get your animations. So the program you're gonna need is a Dwarfin 2.52. I already got it open. So when you open it up, it's gonna come up like this. And what you wanna do is you wanna click on here and hit delete. Come up to this icon, the character icon. You wanna use audio motion too. I mean, you could use either one, but I normally use audio motion too. So you do that. So you want to right click on the timeline, create animation, and let me go back. So uh, see, you probably had this. You gonna come up to like Endorphins 2.5, and then what you want to do is go to Resources, Animate, that Animation, and you got the Audio Motions. Like you can use pretty much either one. Oh, and which one I want to use? Uh, yeah, do the run. Uh, okay, now right here, the, the, the source reference audio motion transfer bullshit. Click this, click the three icons, and go to what you selected. See, I select the audio motion too. If you, that's what I'm gonna pick. If you, if you got the other one, then you pick the other one. You know. Um. Then hit OK. Let it load up. And hit this button right here to simulate it, simulate it, and there you go. You got the animation. Yeah, so yeah, you can scroll back and forth through it or whatever like that. And then this one, you can make your own animation, but that'll probably be like another tutorial or some shit, cause that shit ain't easy to do either. Um, so what you want to do now is go to File, Export All, and I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. Well, Put some bullshit in. Don't give a fuck. I'm high as hell right now. And you want to say the say type is as a BVH file. Yep. Save it. Okay. Yeah. So now you can pretty much X out of this bullshit. So now what you want to do, open up your Cinemorph 4D. And what you want to do is add your character. Ooh, let me see. Uh, I think I do it to merge. Um, yeah, just find a character. I got a couple, a lot of characters. Um, uh, we got the, the cop model import. Oh, this is so small. Okay. So now when you read them out, the texture errors bullshit come up. And you get nothing. So what you want to do is double click on this. Double click on the textures, and it's gonna it's gonna tell you the name like this eyeball or whatever and shit. So you want to click on these arrows. Go back to your under cop or your your 3D model. Go back to the textures, and you just click on each one. I mean you can see them at the bottom right here, like you know. And plus they had a name up there, so it's that one. So we click on the other one. Really, it's real easy. Click no on that one. What's this? It's okay, the gloves. Uh, here we go. That's just upper body right here. Uh, the lower body. Wait, which one I was? Nope. 
upper body. No. Oh, that is hair gear. Okay, there we go. And no. All right, so now we got all level. We're ready to out. You will see it. Oh, hold on, let me check, take off the frame. I'll rent the sand time to be able to play with you. Take it off for a minute. Okay, right now, there you go. So now what you want to do is go to merge. And you're going to merge your, um, uh, you're going to merge your bone file. Uh, let me set that uh, right here. Right on the one. That's what I say to the ass. And for this character, like 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 your character size is gonna be different. But for this one, it's point ninety seven for me. So there you go. And now what you wanna do is go to the change the camera, go to first person, go to the front of you, zoom in, zoom in. And what you wanna do is get them lined up. Let's see. Yeah, position P. Yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it right there. Line them up straight. I mean, y'all just take your time. About to start kind of rushing through this. And what you want to do is just take his joints, just move them over a little bit, line them up, hit the keyframe button so you can stay in position. Because if you mess up, you try to go back and it'll fuck up everything. So you had to redo like the legs over and the arms over if you ain't hit the keyframe. Like that. Um, go to right here. Go to some um, shoulders. Oh. Rotate that down. Go to the left one. Go down. Go to the shoulder. Rotate that down. Oh, keyframe. And keep for another shoulder. See, that's what happened when I keep for another one. Okay, that's good. Keep for And so now, what you want to go back is you want to back into the regular view. And which one or not? What you want to do now is you know turn around, get, get a good angle on them. Which one? Let me say this. Let me go to my elbow. Yeah, my elbow. Drag it in. Well, I think it's about good enough like that. Yeah, that's about good enough. Go back to the shoulder. Bring that in a little bit more. Shoulder looking kind of fucked up right there. Okay, now go back to the elbow. Pretty much all you, all you want is the bones inside of your 3D character. Let's go ahead and another keyframe. That one good. And we wanna go back to the the left joint no for the elbow for the left and left elbow. Bring it in, keyframe. Go back to the shoulder. Bring that in a little bit. Keyframe it. Should do the shoulder first instead of the elbow. But, you know, you want to take your time on this and shit, though. Keyframe. And just look around so you got all the bones in them and everything. Everything should be good. Yeah. Alright, so now what you want to do is. You want to go into your characters. You want to add a skin. And you want to drag the skin inside the character. And then what you want to do is right click on there, on your skeletons, select all children, and you want to hit control, select both of these, and you want to go back to character, command, bind. And so now, I'm going to drag your timeline out. And so now, you play, you press play. 
to get to running. And yeah, that's how you make animation, 3D animation characters. And like for the next tutorial I'm gonna do really is like um yeah the weight tool. I'm gonna show you how to uh, add weight to your character. Shit like this. And yeah, so I'm even ending warping. So but uh yeah, the next tutorial I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna do on weight yeah, the weight tool. So I'm gonna do that in a couple of days and stuff. But um yeah, just like, comment, subscribe on it, you know, if we got any requests or any tutorial, just let me know. Yeah, and uh, for all those people talk about what I'm dead, no, bitch, I'm back. I'm back better than ever. I'm going to shit on you people. Yeah, I'm talking my haters. Tell my fans out there, thank you. Keep watching my videos. Yeah, I got you.